Now, are you familiar with a sport known as bingo? Mm. You have your, honestly, it's stay away. Stay away. It's, incre- it's incredibly addictive. Do you know it's also known as granny smack? <laughs> and meth amphetamine. Genuinely, not a laughing matter. Are you aware that more people die playing bingo than any other sport? It has the highest mortality rate, in fact, of any sport in the world. In fact, that many people die playing bingo. The Gala Bingo have a policy that if a player dies during a game, the game continues. (laughs) Somebody's life, Keith, their time on this earth will end. And the numbers, you don't believe me, do you? Well, let me tell you something. Doubters be damned. Because the proof is in the pudding. And you are about to get some sick tapioca. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I phoned up Gala Bingo headquarters. And you're about to hear it from the horse's mouth. Good afternoon. You're through to Dave at Gala Leisure. Can I take your name, please? Hello, Dave. My name's Troy Hawk. Hi there. And uh, how can I help you today? I, I, I... Troy Hawk. Who's that lad? <laughs> yeah, fucking Troy Hawk, lad! <laughs> what of it? <laughs> what of it, Moose? What? What's your fucking name, lad? What? Wayne, the fucking audacity of you, Wayne! <laughs> fucking Wayne! I'm not standing here, Keith, being called out by a fucking Wayne, am I, lad? <laughs> fucking Wayne! Fucking Wayne! I'm from fucking Hayden, mate! With two dogs! I, only joking, Wayne. Love, love your enthusiasm. <laughs> Adore it. Never change, Wayne. Never change. Eleven. Anyway, I'm about to out Gala Bingo as being absolute shysters. Pump the sound for me a little bit here. Now, now, this is this, this is absolutely from the horse's mouth. Here we go. Good afternoon. Hello, Dave. My name's Troy Hawk. Hi there, and uh, how can I help you today? I, I, I was just concerned about uh, a point of policy from Gala Bingo. I just wanted to clarify it with you if I could. Okay. I can try my best. All right. <laughs> That's all any of us can do, Dave. Um, now, I understand that um, it is Gala policy that if a player dies during a game, the game continues. Is that correct? Uh... Yes, I do. It is sick, Not in a fucking good way, lad. I haven't got enough fucking time. Shut up, you love it. And does that, is that any kind of death? Is that any kind of death? Yes. Does that, for instance, include murder? <laughs> murder. If someone was murdered in the club, we would continue. Do you? <laughs> I thought boxing was brutal. <laughs> At least they stop when somebody gets knocked out, Keith. Rain stops play at Wimbledon. Rain. Rain. Can you imagine 
if Boris Becker killed over dead and Ivan Lendl just kept firing serve after serve <laughs> over his corpse. <laughs> the change of ends would be a nightmare. You'd have ball boys doubling up as pool bearers. <laughs> Cliff Richard would be up in the stands singing Candle in the Wind. <laughs> they don't stop for murder. If you want to kill somebody, you know what to do now, don't you? Take them down to the bingo hall. Quick. <laughs> quick knife in the kidneys. Pop up your assassin's hood. Off in your convertible motor car. Speeding off into the sunset. Nobody will be any the wiser until Sandra from Kirby gets our full house. <laughs> they don't stop for murder, Wayne. When they don't stop for murder, which I imagine is why ISIS have never targeted a bingo hall. <laughs> for a terror attack. And no, Devon, it's not because they've got a chain called Mecca. It's because that would be quite the anticlimax if you were a suicide bomber. Allah <laughs> Bar! Oh, Kelly's eye number five. <laughs> don't worry, we'll cover dry cleaning, virgins in paradise, 72. They don't stop for murder. And none of you people. None of you have done anything about it at all. You've all, bought, you've all walked past the bingo. What have you done? Nothing. Nothing. You're culpable, Keith, in this genocide of the elderly. Res rivers of blood. Rivers of blood with the occasional pair of dentures. And you've just stepped over. I was onto it straight away, by the way. I'll tell you for why. Gala bingo. Do you know what that's worth in Scrabble? 13. Do you know what else is worth 13? Nazi. Fairly safe to assume anything worth 13 holds life in a very low regard. Is that all you've got? No, it isn't actually, Wayne. <laughs> Trump, Hitler. Trump, Hitler, both worth nine, which is how one of them says no. Also, Devon, nine. Be careful about any disputes you get in with this lady. <laughs> some of you convinced, some of you confused. All right, how's this one? Bush, Bin Laden, 9-11. That's right, hot water, scrabble-based conspiracy theories. <laughs> you didn't think you'd hear that phrase tonight, did you, Keith? Oh, I wonder if I'll hear the phrase scrabble-based. Oh, no.